And with me on console here, probably uh, none more important than the NASA Administrator, Bill Nelson. Senator, thank you for joining us today. Rob, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, you know, I'd say it's good to see you, but this is uh, an extraordinary day. I remember years ago when I uh, saw you return on uh, Columbia from uh, your mission into space, and it all conjures up a tremendous amount of memories. Orion back on Earth, having circumnavigated the moon, having survived a critical test of its heat shield, you, I think you have to be hesitant to celebrate and throw confetti a little bit too early, but uh, it certainly uh, is an important achievement, is it not? Uh, it's historic because we are now going back into space, into deep space, with a new generation. Uh, Kennedy uh, just uh, stunned everybody with the Apollo generation and said that we were going to achieve what we thought was impossible. Uh, and did that in a short period of time. And uh, many things have happened since. But we knew we were going back. But we knew we were going back to the moon just to continue to explore outward into the cosmos. And so that's why this is a defining day. Uh, it is one that marks uh, new technology, a whole new breed of astronaut, uh, a, a vision for the future that captures the DNA of particularly Americans, although we do this as an international venture, and that DNA is we are adventurers, we are explorers. We always have a frontier, and that frontier is now to continue exploring the heavens. We had to wait a while for Artemis to uh, finally get to the point where the space launch system uh, got us underway back on November 16th, but once it did, these engineers and the other members of the uh, team's front room, back room, they've been pretty giddy over the amount of data that they've required. And, how this vehicle appears to have exceeded its expectations and its performance. The whole vehicle, uh, the rocket, uh, the European uh, participation in the support module, uh, the uh, spacecraft itself, Orion, uh, performing so well that they added a lot of tests. And uh, lo and behold, we're going to be uh, we're going to be up to our ears in data. Thankfully, and of course today the the two main things that had to happen was that uh, that heat shield had to work and it did beautifully, where they can skip off the atmosphere and bleed that speed down from 25,000 miles an hour, and uh, and then uh, the parachutes had to work and they did it as well. You know the engineering, the design of this mission all the work that will go into the next flight when a crew is on board right, to orbit the moon. Uh, what does this say about NASA and the international partner cooperation and the partnership that uh, ultimately takes us not only to the moon but beyond? Well, it says a lot about our country uh, because we don't do it secretively. Uh, we do it openly and we do it with our friends and we invite all peoples of the earth. Uh, and uh, we are doing it also with commercial partners because when we go into orbit uh, on Apollo 3, uh, we are going to rendezvous and dock with a, in this case, SpaceX lander and the crew will go down to the surface. And, and then we have another competition going on now for another lander so that we will have two landers. Uh, and again, this is the, the program of going back to the moon to learn, to live, to invent, to create in order to explore beyond. 50 years ago today, Gene Cernan, Jack Schmidt, landed their lunar module Challenger on Taurus Littrow, the final lunar landing. It only seems fitting half a century later to the day, Orion back home. 
and uh, what a what a fitting uh, opportunity that I had last night to sit with Jack Schmidt at the astronaut dinner uh, and to to talk to him about those experiences. Uh, 50 years, it's a long time, but uh, look what we have done in the meantime. The space shuttle, we built the International Space Station, we brought in commercial partners. We now go to and from regularly the International Space Station with cargo and crew. Uh, and uh, here we go. Uh, we've got scouts going to the moon that are commercial scouts that land, that take NASA instruments and scientific instruments in preparing us for the landings of our astronauts. And so it's, it's a new day. A new day has dawned. Um, an Artemis generation is taking us there. And uh, Orion continues... Uh to await uh, the arrival of uh, the USS Portland, which shouldn't be very much longer from now, and uh, some flight test objectives that will be uh, taking place over the next couple of hours before we here in Houston hand the vehicle over to the Kennedy Space Center recovery team. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, pleasure to see you today, and uh, thank you so much for being with us. What a day. Oh, it is my great privilege.